Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on topic episode 36. It has been two years since I stopped doing my on topic videos and I'm not officially back to doing them. I can't promise that I'm going to do this video every single month. The goal is maybe every two months. If you aren't familiar with my on topic videos, it's just a video where I discuss book news, TV show news, and movie news. It's just an opportunity to give my opinions about book covers, book announcements, TV show adaptations, and new movies that are coming out. And I stopped doing these videos because it felt like I always had to be on top of everything and that I always had to be chronically online to see all the news, to pay attention, to write everything down. It just felt like a lot of work. So that's why I'm, I can't promise that I'm going to do these every single month, but I am hoping to do them every two months. A lot of books are either getting republished, more authors are getting publishing deals, we're getting new covers, we're getting new editions, special editions. There's a lot going on in the book world at the moment, so I kind of was inspired to start talking about that again. Obviously, I'm not going to be talking about every single news that is out there. I'm just going to be talking about the news that I'm interested in and that I want to discuss. Normally with these videos, I do the book news, then the TV show news, and then the movie news. However, for this one, we're just going to do book news and then adaptation news because I don't have any news specifically about TV shows or movies to talk about. So it's just going to be book news and then adaptation news. And I will have every single source linked in the info box. Everything relating to what I'm talking about will have sources. I'm also going to link a playlist for all of my on-topic videos that I've done in the past, and I will also link my last adaptation news video that I did, I think like two months ago. I haven't stopped talking about adaptation news in the last two years. I have been pretty consistent with that. However, I have stopped talking about book news, so it's going to be nice to get back into discussing what I mainly love, which is books. I am also filming this the day before it goes out. Most of this news should be accurate. Obviously, who knows? There might be things that are announced last minute, but this is pretty much everything that I've gathered in the last little while. There is some older stuff that I'm going to be quickly talking about because I want to talk about it. So let's get into it because there is a lot to discuss. Obviously, I'm going to start with the book news. The first little bit of news is all about Jennifer L. Armentrout. So of course, we got the new Bloom editions of the Covenant series. It was announced a while back that Bloom had picked up the first book, Half-Blood, and I think we all kind of knew that they would pick up the whole series, so we did get covers and release dates for the entire series. All of the first editions will have sprayed edges. So we have the first book, Half-Blood, which is out May 28th. Pure, which is the second book, is out July 9th. The third book, Deity, is out August 6th. Apollyon, the fourth book, is out September 3rd, and then the fifth book, Centennial, is out October 1st. This is a young adult series from what I do remember. I did read the series back in 2014, and I actually do own the series in the original covers. So these were the covers that came out back in 2014-ish. I really, really enjoyed this series back in the day, and I would love to do a reread, so I probably will be purchasing the new Bloom editions. I do think they're beautiful and I love the colored sprayed edges. I wanted to talk about this because obviously Bloom Books is more so a company that publishes romance titles. Obviously they do the occasional YA title. They've done uh, the Boys of Tommen series, which is technically YA, I guess. And now this series is YA, but there is a spin-off series called the Titan series, which is about another character from this world, and it kind of continues the story, I guess. So I am wondering if Bloom Books will pick up the Titan series. I feel like that could be something that is possible. So I'm predicting that Bloom Books will pick up the spinoff series, the Titan series. I just want to put that out there that I'm predicting that and we'll see if I'm right in like a year. <laughs> this is not officially announced yet because I haven't found any official source, but Bloom Books will publish Frigid and Scorched by Jennifer L. Armentrout. If you go on the Bloom Books website and you look at their authors and their books, and you scroll all the way to Jennifer L. Armentrout's section, you will see 
the Covenant series there. And then below that, you will see Frigid and Scorched. If you go on Amazon, you can find the new release dates for the new editions. Frigid and Scorched both came out back in like 2013 to 2015, I think. I read those books back then and I do remember really enjoying them. I don't own physical copies. These were both self-published, I do believe. Originally they were self-published under like Jay Lynn. I want to say at one point they were picked up by a publisher, but I could be totally wrong. They might have just always been self-published. But it's no surprise that Bloom decided to publish these two. So from Amazon, it looks like Frigid will come out November 5th and Scorched will come out December 3rd. Uh, so I guess we can look forward to seeing what the covers will look like for these two books. I'm excited. I kind of want to do a reread on these as well, so I might buy the new covers. Apparently, the Dark Elements series by Jennifer L. Armitrout is also getting new covers. This is also something that is not officially announced yet, but I found it on Indigo. I saw the new cover on Indigo and I was like, what is this? So I did a little digging, found the same new cover on Amazon and there's like a new release date. I also found a release date for the second book. So it looks like the series is getting new covers. The covers were already changed back in 2019. So I don't really understand why the need for new covers, especially when the cover looks like this. I do not like the new cover. I think it's ugly. There is no new cover for the second or third book yet. This is the only new cover that we have, but I don't like it. I definitely will not be purchasing this cover because I do own the like newer editions that we got back in 2019. And then I did buy the fairy loot editions. So I won't be buying these new ones, but I personally prefer this. I just think this is better. I know it doesn't really represent the series, but I don't think this one does either. So on Amazon and Indigo, it says that the new cover of White Hot Kiss is coming out June 25th. And no cover for Stone Cold Touch, which is the second book, but there is a release date, October 15th. And then the third book, Every Last Breath, doesn't have a edition uploaded to it yet. So there is no release date for the new cover for the third book, but... Yeah, I'm definitely curious about why they would republish this series, but I'm assuming they just want to continue the JLA hype and try to republish some of her older books, which does make sense. But at the same time, I feel like that is very wasteful when they could just be promoting the current covers. Unless there was like some sort of publishing company switch over. I don't know, but yeah, it does seem kind of weird to change these covers. I like these current covers. I think they're nice. So yeah, you may have limited time to buy these ones. So if you want these covers, go get them now. This is old news, but we are getting new covers for the Lux series by JLA. The first book, Obsidian, already has a cover and a release date. It is coming out July 2nd. The new edition will be a hardcover and it will have like a special sprayed edges design type of thing. I don't hate the new cover. It's definitely better than this, but I like the current covers. The current covers with the like silhouette of Katie and Damon with the colors. I like those covers, but I don't think I will buy those covers. I'm just gonna buy the new edition, the new hardcover. At first, I just thought it was gonna be like a special edition for the first book, but if you look on Amazon, there is a release date for the second book in the series. So I'm assuming they are going to do new editions for the entire series and do them all in hardcover. Amazon has listed the Onyx new edition for November 5th. So I'm sure there will be a cover announcement for that one soon. But let me know what you think about this series getting new covers. I will probably be buying all of them just because I have like these original editions, which do not match. I feel like it would be nice to have some beautiful hardcovers for this series. Like I said earlier, I'm predicting that Bloom Books will pick up the Titan series eventually by JLA, but it does get me wondering if they're going to pick up another series by her, possibly the Wicked series, or I don't think that's what it's called. Is it called the Wicked series? The first book is Wicked, um, and it's like a fae romance trilogy. The first and second book do have Passion Flix adaptations attached to them, so I'm wondering if those will eventually be published with a publisher. Who knows, but I could see Bloom picking them up at some point. So I'm also predicting 
that I'm not going to be surprised if other publishers pick up JLA's more indie kind of unknown titles or like revamping them with new covers. I just feel like that seems to be the trend with all of her older stuff. Okay, that was it for all of my Jennifer L. Armentrout news. Now onto the rest. So Good Boy and Stay by L. Kennedy and Serena Bowen are being published with Bloom Books. We have new covers for these two books. So Good Boy, the first book, is coming out August 6th and Stay is coming out September 17th. I read both of these books back in 2017 and I believe I gave them both like four stars. I don't really remember anything about them. I don't know if I want to purchase these new editions. I don't have the original paperbacks. I don't really like these new covers. They're kind of giving young adult and not hockey romance. I'm kind of torn between if I should purchase the old covers or if I should just give in and buy these new ones even though I don't love them. I would love to reread these books though because it has been a very long time. I think it's Canary Street Press, which is an imprint of Harlequin, will be publishing new editions of the Game On series by Kristen Callahan. So the series will get new covers with some bonus material. The first book has a cover and a release date. It will be published July 9th. The second, third, and fourth book don't have covers yet, but they do have release dates. So the second book, The Friend Zone, is coming out August 27th. The third book, The Game Plan, will be out December 31st. And the Hot Shop book four will be out February 11th, 2025. Kristen Callahan also announced that she is working on the fifth book in the series, so I'm assuming that that will come out next summer. I read this series back in 2014 to 2017, kind of when they were being released. Um, I do own the original... Well, this is not the original cover. There's an older cover than this one, but I do own like the current covers, I guess. This is the first book, then I have the second book, and I have the third book. I don't own the fourth book in the physical copy, but I did read that book as well. I don't think I loved that book that much, so I never ordered the physical copy of it, but I don't know if I'm going to buy these new covers. I think they're fine. I don't love the new covers. I do remember really, really loving this first book. So I might buy the new cover for the first book because I actually do want to reread it. And I do remember just loving this book. So I might buy the new cover. I don't know about the rest of the series. We'll see as the covers get released. I didn't really realize that this series was that popular to get new covers and to be like published with an actual publisher. Um, but on the cover, it says hashtag spice talk sensation. I didn't really realize that these went viral on TikTok, but I guess so. I don't, I don't know. But I'm happy for Kristen Callahan and I am happy that we're getting finally a fifth book in this series. I feel like I've been waiting for years. So I'm excited to see what that book is about. The Cherry Tree Harbor series by Melanie Harlow will be published with Entangled Amara. The series was originally self-published, but it is now being picked up by Entangled, so there will be some new updated covers. Runaway Love, which is the first book in the series, will be out July 30th with the new cover. There is no release dates or covers for the rest of this series. I have not read this series yet, but I've read a few of Melanie's other books and have really enjoyed them. This first book has been on my TBR since it came out. I just haven't gotten around to reading it, so I probably will be buying the new edition when it comes out, and I'll probably just buy the rest of the series as they get re-released. If I enjoy the first book, obviously. I don't want to continue a series that I'm not enjoying, but I am very excited to finally read this book. The Dominator series by Dee Dee Prince has new covers. I feel like this was announced a couple weeks ago, but the author decided to change the covers and there are new editions available. This is a very, very, very dark romance. It is probably one of the darkest romances I have ever read, but I loved it. It was exactly what I wanted to read in the moment and I love the new covers, but I'm trying to be a little bit more sensible about my purchasing. So. I don't think I will be buying these new covers, even though I love them. I do have the original covers over here. So I have the Dominator, then I have Truth or Dare, and then Unbound. I definitely love these new covers, but I don't need two editions of the series, unfortunately. It was just announced today, actually, 
that there will be a new cover of A Hunger Like No Other by Cressley Cole. This is the first book in the Immortals After Dark series. So it's just going to be a re-release with a new cover that will be out October 1st. I have this edition here. I don't know what edition you would call this because the series has like multiple different covers, multiple different editions. I feel like it's really hard to find an actual matching set for the entire series. This is also a like 20 plus book series. I've only had book like nine or something like that or ten but I loved the first few books in this series and I actually do love this new cover. I think it's really pretty. It doesn't really represent the series that much because this is a vampire and werewolf that fall in love. I don't know if this means that the first few books in the series will also get new covers. I'm not sure but like I said the cover is gorgeous and I might buy this new cover because I kind of want to reread this and I feel like that would be fun to have the new cover because it's it's very very pretty. I love the colors. I don't know if this is officially announced yet but I saw the cover on Amazon and Goodreads but we have a cover for The Wedding Witch by Erin Sterling. This is the third and final book in the X-Hex series. Amazon says this will be released October 8th, but I also have seen some other release dates, so I'm not exactly sure, but I think it is coming out sometime in October. I am so excited for this final book. I really, really enjoyed the first two books in the series, and I cannot wait to read this in October. I think it's gonna be so fun, and I love the colors. It is definitely different than the other two books in the series, but I think it's gorgeous. I don't know if this is officially announced yet, but I saw this on Amazon and Goodreads. But it looks like we are getting a spinoff of the On Dublin Street by Samantha Young. The book is called On Love Rose Lane, and it's supposed to come out February 2025, and it says it's a On Dublin Street Next Generation, and it looks like it follows the first couple's daughter. I loved the On Dublin Street back in the day. I would love to reread the series actually and maybe I should before this new book comes out that follows the kids. I'm a little scared though because I don't necessarily love next generation romances. I feel like sometimes they ruin the magic of the first series with the parents, you know, so we'll see but I feel like Samantha Young could do this series and do the original couples justice. So I don't know, I might read this, we'll see. I think that was it for book news. I'm sorry, there was so much to discuss, so many things I wanted to talk about. Now let's get into the adaptation news. So I have a couple of TV show stuff and then I have a lot of passion flicks news to get through. The Rebel Blue Ranch series by Lila Sage has been optioned for a TV show. Universal Television and Hopetown Entertainment are currently developing this TV show. And I did not know this, but I guess Hopetown Entertainment is a company that Tish Cyrus created. It says Tish Cyrus and Dana Axelrod of Hopetown Entertainment will produce the show. There's a couple other producers attached and stuff like that. You can read the article down below, but there's no other news. Uh, Lila Sage seems very, very excited about this TV show. And honestly, I'm kind of excited too. I love the books. I really enjoyed the first book when I read it last year and I read the second book back in March and also really enjoyed it. And I'm very excited about the next two books in the series. I'm also obsessed with the covers. They are so pretty. I love these book covers. I have very, very high hopes for this TV show and I hope it does not disappoint because I'm obsessed with the books and I feel like it could really upset me if the TV show is bad. So hopefully they get like good casting. Hopefully it sort of sticks to the books. Like I don't, I don't really care necessarily if it ventures off too far from the books, but I just hope that the actors are right. This news is a little random, but I saw it about a month ago and I've been trying to find out more information and I just can't. We might have some updates on the Crossfire TV show by Sylvia Day. Sylvia Day posted on her Instagram around March 11th saying that she got some flowers from the Crossfire TV show crew, like the people working on the TV show. But if you go on her website, 
It says that the rights for the books for the TV show have expired and the rights have reverted back to her so she owns them now and that the TV show is currently not in development and her website was updated April 2024. So she updated it recently, like that page on her website. But like a month ago, she got flowers from the crew. So I'm kind of confused on like what this means. Like, does that mean we are getting a TV show? Does it mean that she just has a team that is working on shopping the show somewhere? Like she could have a crew that is writing the pilot or writing the show and they are trying to shop at networks for it to be picked up. Like maybe that's what she means. Um, but she also says it's not in development. So I'm kind of confused. Unless like since March 11th, things have changed. And maybe that means like it's not happening anymore. I'm kind of confused about that one. Let me know if you have any other information about it. And also I didn't realize, but there are new covers for the series. I don't know when the new covers came out, but if you go on Amazon, there are new covers. I like the new covers. I think they're really pretty. Uh, I won't be repurchasing the new covers because I already have the series. I'm not super obsessed with the series. I honestly do hope that at some point this does become a TV show because I think it would be a great TV show. I think they could really have a lot of fun with this TV show and it's kind of a shame that it hasn't been adapted yet. I talked about this in my last adaptation news video regarding Twilight, the TV show reboot. I think a couple weeks after I had filmed that video, it was announced that it's going to be an animated TV show, which honestly, I'm kind of excited about. I feel like there are no actors that could replace the original cast. It just seems really hard to imagine anybody to step into the roles. I think pushing it into animation is a smart move. I think it could actually really work as an animated TV show. I definitely would tune into it, but it would be interesting to see who would voice the characters. That would be interesting. I think I'm much more accepting of that versus having like new actors physically be the characters. I would rather have like animated if that makes sense, and just listen to new voices, I guess. Now onto all of the Passion Flix news. There's actually a lot of Passion Flix news, so I'm gonna kind of go through most of it really quickly. Obviously, Wallbanger just came out. I am planning on doing a video of me rereading the book and watching the movie and vlogging and reviewing that whole thing, but I wanna be in the right mood to do that, and I'm not really in the mood to reread this yet, so I'm gonna hold off on it for a little while, but I am hoping to do it within the next month or so. I forgot to talk about this last time, but Passionflix is kinda of doing like a quickie TV show for the book Fall in Love Again by Willow Winters. I have not read this book, and I don't really plan on it. I don't know if I'll watch the TV show, but apparently there will be six episodes, and Lexi Contorsi will play Aubrey, and Tyler Cortad will play Bennett. I believe they've already finished filming a couple weeks ago, so I think it's just a matter of time before we get an announcement date on when the show will premiere. The adaptation of The Air He Breathes by Brittany C. Cherry is currently filming. I don't know if this is supposed to be a movie or a TV show. I think I might have missed the news somewhere. Let me know if you know what this adaptation will be. I'm assuming a movie. But they are currently filming this and they started about a week ago and we have some casting and a director and all of that jazz so I will go through that quickly. We have Kelsey Stran... Stran... Stranahan as Liz. Ryan... Carnes as Tristan, Charlotte Ann Tucker as Emma, Presley Coker as Tanner, and Jessica Craig as Faye. And this adaptation will be directed by Rachel Annette Hilton. I read the book a couple years ago and I somewhat enjoyed it. I think I gave it three stars. I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. I definitely prefer some of Brittany's other books. I don't know if I'm going to want to reread this book and watch the adaptation, but we'll see when that happens. Honestly, I'm just gonna kind of wait and see how the project looks from the trailer and stuff. I'm very happy for Brittany Cherry. She is always sharing on Instagram the set photos and stuff, and she seems very excited about this adaptation, so I'm excited for her. Tosca just announced today 
that they will finally be continuing the Granger Brothers series. I want to say it's been over five years since they adapted this book into a movie. And like I said, Tosca announced today on her Instagram that the second book, A Man's Promise, and the third book, A Lover's Vow, will begin filming today. Um, so we will finally have movies for the rest of the series, which is very exciting. I didn't love this book or this adaptation, but I know that so many people did enjoy this trilogy and I'm very happy for all of you that are finally going to be able to see an adaptation for the second and third book. There's also no other news on other casting or director or anything like that, so I don't know anything else. But it is exciting that the project is moving forward and they are filming. I'm sure they will share more details soon. I don't plan on reading the second and third book and I don't know if I will watch the next movies. I might just watch them in my own time, but I don't plan on doing a video on the next adaptations. Georgia Cates announced that the Beauty series will begin filming in Australia in December. There's no other news yet. Passionflix has not even confirmed this, I don't think, but Georgia Cates announced on her Instagram and her socials that they are going to start filming this adaptation in December in Australia. There's no casting or director news yet. I'm excited to see who they cast. I'm excited to see if it's going to be a TV show or a movie. I don't know if they're going to film all of the books at once or if they're going to work on the first book and then the second and then the third. And I can't wait to reread this book and make a whole video on it. Last news, this is the last thing that I need to talk about. So we have some Black Dagger Brotherhood adaptation news. J.R. Ward recently had a convention or an event or something and she revealed quite a bit of news about this adaptation. Filming will start in September. Um, I believe Tosca Musk is going to direct uh, from what I remember, I'm pretty sure that was announced that she would be very hands-on with this project. Um, but filming will start in September and there is going to be an open casting worldwide. J.R. Ward also said that there will be a website in a couple of weeks that will go live where people can submit their headshots. So it's going to be open to the public, which is kind of scary. Like, I just feel like that seems like a lot of work for Passionflix to comb through a lot of headshots and then set up auditions and then do all this work. Each book will be four to five episodes with 50 minutes each. I feel like that's a pretty good timing. It's not clear how many books they're going to adapt, but I'm assuming they're gonna add, adapt at least the first five books for sure. It seems like they're just gonna film the first book to start with, but I'm assuming they're gonna cast all of the other characters because obviously the other brothers appear in this first book. I'm very excited to see who's going to play Wrath and Beth. My favorite book in the series is Lover Awakened, which is the third book I want to say. It's been years since I have read the first few books in the series. I've actually taken a break from the series. I stopped at The Chosen. I decided to take a break from the series because I wasn't loving the direction it was going in, but I'm very excited to see this adaptation. I hope it does not disappoint. I love the earlier books a lot and I have very, very high hopes for the casting of Zadist. Is it Zadist? Zadist? I never know. He needs to be casted perfectly. Like, I need to be obsessed with that actor because I love his character so much. I will be rereading this book and watching the TV show and making a whole video about it. I'm actually very excited. Obviously, I don't think we will get the TV show until early 2025. Although who knows, maybe we could get it at the end of this year, like in December maybe, but it does seem like Passionflix has a lot of projects in the works right now, so it's going to be interesting to see how they juggle release dates and things actually coming out, but I'm glad that they have finally got the ball rolling on all of their projects. Obviously Passionflix just had their Passion Con a couple weeks ago. I don't know if there was exclusive news that was announced there. Let me know if there was stuff that was announced that I've missed regarding Passion Flicks. I try to keep up with them as much as possible, even though I'm now not going to be reacting to all of their adaptations. I still do like to keep up with everything. So that was all the news that I had to discuss. I'm sorry if this video was very long, but I had a lot of things I wanted to talk about. 
Let me know any of your thoughts on everything that I talked about. And if there is any news that I missed that you think I would be interested in, please let me know down below or just any news that you care about that you want to share with me. Go ahead and leave all of that down below in the comments. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!